Hey, Trevor Matthews here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I want to talk about some system components, specifically an accumulator in a system. What's the purpose of an accumulator? It's to protect the compressor from flood back or liquid refrigerant. And how does liquid refrigerant make it back to the compressor? Well, anytime the compressor is running and the evaporator loses its load. So it could be dirty evap coil. It could be fans are out. It could be an iced up coil. It could be a damaged uh, metering device. It could be uh, contamination or dirt in that metering device. Something that caused liquid refrigerant to make it back to the compressor where you have no superheat. The accumulator is to protect against that. And what I wanna really talk about is there's two things. First thing is installation practices. When you first install a system, especially as an accumulator, and you're not using inert gas, you can run into major issues with dirt plugging up the meter and device, the filter dryer, but also it could plug up the screen on the accumulator. Okay, this is the accumulator right here. This is from Alco, one of Emerson's accumulator. And this is kind of what it looks like inside. I have it cut open here. So as you can see that it has a dip tube in here and it has a baffle plate. So if refrigerant makes it through down the suction line, especially in low temp application, you will see this. Oil and liquid refrigerant will fill this up and then it'll take the vapor off the top back to the compressor. This little orifice down here is for oil, to meter oil and refrigerant back to the compressor, meter it back. So anytime you lose a little bit of control that evaporator doesn't boil off, this accumulator will catch it and protect against flood back. It won't protect against flood of starts or other issues within the system it's fair to protect against flood back. But the thing that you need to know is if you don't install it properly the first time, the system, you don't use inert gas, this screen could plug up, you don't get that oil back to the compressor and you get a seized compressor. Or you have a bad failure. You have a bad system failure, compressor failure. It could be a bad electrical failure, which a lot of people call burnout, or a bad mechanical failure where there's a lot of dirt in the system and it makes its way back here and plugs this little screen. And this happened to me before. And this is why I wanna tell and let everyone know is that I've replaced the compressor back in the day and I did a great installation. I purged, I did a great evacuation, I set the system up perfectly, got it running. Three months later, I got my boss called me, hey, can you go back and check the site out? I get back to that site and I have a seized compressor. Why? is because I didn't change that accumulator and I didn't know that there was a screen in this accumulator that could plug up and cause uh, the oil not make its way back into the compressor. So be aware of that. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear if you, you replace accumulators when you have a bad failure in a system, a lot of contamination in a system. I'd love to hear if you, you haven't or you didn't know about this. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.